Oh, you're gonna love it. Honestly, you're gonna love it. You really are. But first, uh, the vote that could affect millions of people across the UK. In the next few minutes, we should find out whether MPs have voted to back the government's plan to cap benefits at a 1% increase a year. Whether you think that cap's fair or not, how much do you know about what people are really entitled to? Lucy Siegel's been finding out. What's the maximum a lone parent can receive in Job Seekers Allowance per week? Is it £48, 71 or 132 I'd go for 71 but I'm probably wrong. Gone for 132 48 you think? I've no idea. You've gone for the highest straight away? Yeah. 132 personally. Really? Uh, I would have thought 48. What's the maximum a two-bedroomed household can receive in housing benefits here in High Wycombe? We're going for the middle ground. Well, that I wouldn't know. Yeah. Or 171. Go for the middle ground. At a guess, I'd go for that one. Oh, oh, straight for that one. Yep. And finally, how much do people think the proposed benefits cap is for couples and single parents? 165. 190. Yeah. Lovely. I'm just going to put 150, yeah? 150. Do you know, All I, really, I really don't have any idea. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't know. haven't been watching my daily politics. <laughs> well, virtually nobody seems to get these right because uh, the answer to the job seekers allowance question, 71, uh, people went for the extremes, either the lowest or the highest. Housing benefits, it's actually up to 178.85, the top answer in this area. Only three said that. Everybody went for middle ground. And the benefits cap is £500. Um, we got nowhere near that. And that is at £500 a week, as you were saying there, Lucy. We'll get into that yes, in a little bit more yes. uh, detail. But first, uh, Sarah, you're, you've had quite a connection to this, haven't you? Because you used to work within the benefit system. Yeah, I used to work in the job centre. It was, it was quite a long time ago, but I worked in the job centre. And you see just all walks of life of people uh, coming mm. in, you know, set the benefit system's for. It's for all of us, yeah. should we need it at any time. But H How did that compare to other jobs that you had at the time? It was quite stressful. Was it, it was, yeah, yeah, it was. It was quite emotional because I got quite involved. Uh, it's understandable, though. You know, people are down on their luck or whatever. Um, Absolutely, yeah. But, yeah, but I think it's true that just people just don't know what they're entitled to. I think nobody knows the, the sort of figures that you're talking about. Yeah, that was certainly our experience mm -hmm. today, yeah. So in Parliament then today, Lucy, what, yes. have, what, what have been the main arguments? Well, there's been a lot of arguing all day. Mm. Um, and the principal point is that um, the government uh, wants to cap the increase of benefits by 1%. Mm -hmm. So last year, benefits went up by 5.2% along with the rate of inflation. Yep. And they want to cap that at 1% uh, from next year. Now, the argument is, there's sort of two arguments, really. One being that it's unfair for benefits to rise with inflation when the public sector pay is frozen. Yep. And that in the private sector, um, rates are rising slower than the cost of living. So that's the first thing. The other, the second thing that the coalition is saying is that we need to raise money. If we put this cap at 1% on the increase of benefits, we could raise, I think they're saying, £3 billion uh, by the end of 2016. Now, I should point out that this only affects people of working age, so 16 to 64, so pensions aren't affected by this proposal, and we should hear soon what's actually happened with that. And this is a big year for benefit changes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm. So um, from April, we're looking at um, a benefit, a limit on benefits uh, for, for households so that households uh, with a couple or lone parents um, can't exceed £26,000. And for single people, that'll be 18000 So that's the first thing. Mm. The other thing is that um, council tenants, if, they, if their property is assessed as being too big for their needs, their housing benefit will be reduced. And we're also um, starting to see, also from April, the rollout of universal Personal credit. So where we've seen lots of different payments, tax credits, job seekers allowance, um, you know, all paid independently, this will be rolled together as one and paid monthly. So big changes. In your yeah, opinion, yeah. do you think it's all getting more complicated or are they simplifying? So isn't everybody trying to cut red tape all the time? It sounds Yeah, well the universal credit sounds like it will be more simple. simple. Yeah. However, it's what you do to get to that point. So, you know, mm -hmm. how how that is assessed. And there are lots of exemptions and lots of people, as I'm sure Sarah would, you know, would say, everybody has a slightly different case. 
So yeah, it's, you can't, it's common. Not, it's not everyone's the same. Exactly. 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 And on the point of that, you know, one percent increase cap. That's going. To, the results for that we expect are about quarter past seven. So yes. In about well, twelve minutes. Isn't it? Any minute. There we yes. go. Anyway, uh, now Davina, you are sitting very quietly and reserved. But in a moment, Sarah will be laying down her own very special workout chart.